I'm Mike Bowers. I'm Director of Photography for the Global Mail. I'm talking pictures this morning with freelance political photographer Penny Bradfield. Welcome to the program, Penny. Thanks, Mike. It might be Julia Gillard's government, but it was definitely Wayne's World this week as he, as he brought down the budget. This theatre that goes on the lock-up, mm. it, it's almost a rerun every year of the same thing. Is it yeah. hard to come up with new angles? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a set piece from, you know, morning right through to night. The, the arrival, well, the, the faked arrival, yeah. when he walks up into the ministerial entrance through to... Uh, walking around the budget lockup, speaking to journalists, and then the press conference. Julia, uh, she gets this serene sort of look on her face when she hugs or congratulates people, yeah. and, it, and it belies the fact that there's complete Armageddon going on. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah, it's like she's thinking, can't we just hug and get along? <laughs> Is this what it condenses down to? Is this what you're looking for? No, not really. I mean, that's that, it's a bit cheeky, that one, but it was just a funny moment, and I hope that she doesn't care too much. The budget is traditionally the time when uh, the cartoonists sort of uh, push us off the front page and they get yeah. to shine. <laughs> yeah, thank God it's only one day. <laughs> <laughs> John Shakespeare has done uh, um, Wayne Swan as, as the sort of dressed in white singer with the bling, you know, yes. and, and, and Julia going Wayne forever. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I don't think he'd croon like Obama though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think he could pull that one no, off. slow jam the budget. <laughs> Now, now that I would turn up yeah. to shoot. <laughs> uh, Penny, Mark Knight at the uh, uh, Herald Sun has done um, Wayne as the croupier and, um, and Julia as the, uh, the gambler, uh, putting a high stakes bet on the budget. Yes, but I think, isn't it bad luck if you, if you cross both fingers? I think it's terrible luck and well picked up. <laughs> I couldn't help but feel sorry for Craig Thompson, um, mm. regardless of what he's accused yep. of. He looked like the loneliest man in Parliament. Oh, he really did. And we had our, our lenses trained on him, you know, for every minute of those question times. And he knew it. Did he? Every, yeah, oh, you could just tell. How, how do you know when, when someone is aware of you, ca camera aware, I suppose you call it? When they're studiously not looking around. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it's not often that you get a speaker stepping aside because mm. of th this, this, is, this is sort of a historic thing as well, is it not? Yeah, incredible. <laughs> Alex Ellinghausen, I think, really did yeah. get the picture of the week. And Absolutely. It was, it was a bit underplayed when, as he was leaving, he darted a look over to, to uh, Pine, and, and I think this, this picture yeah. is just a fantastic yeah. political moment. Yep, um, it speaks volumes. It's, it's not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's much love lost there. <laughs> On Thursday, it was the opposition's uh, turn to get fiscal penny with the, with the budget reply. If the, the budget is hard to photograph, the budget reply must be even harder, is it? It, it is, it is. I mean, the, there's less interest in it to start with and you're fighting to get in the paper with those photos. Penny's been great chatting. Good luck with the rest of the political year. And, Thanks, uh, Mike. Would you like to do the honours? OK, and back to you, Barry.